What's up you guys? So right now I have an unboxing for you guys. It's a Maxi Scan MS509. Um, it's a code reader. Um, I actually have a check engine light on the Forerunner that keeps popping up. So I figure I go ahead and purchase one. Um, this is fairly cheap. I think it was like 30 something bucks on eBay. And yeah, so I figured I'd just purchase one instead of taking it to the dealer. And having them charge me an arm and a leg just to diagnose what the problem is. So I am going to show you guys what comes in the box. This is the first time I'm seeing it. So let's see, we got the connector cable. I believe this connects to the PC. <clears throat> and then we got the scanner itself right here. Uh, it's pretty big um you can see the size of my hand but uh seems to be good quality now i believe i do have to get a battery for this which i do not have right now so also here comes some software and this is just like a user manual here but yeah so here it is, MaxiScan MS509. Um, there's a lot of good reviews on this, you know, some bad, but mostly good reviews. So I'm pretty much just gonna go ahead and use this to figure out what the code is on the car and then fix it. So um, once I get a battery, I'll show you guys how to plug this into the car. Alright guys, so I got the 9 volt battery and installed it here in the back. You can see, just pop that open, put the 9 volt battery in. Um, I just attached the cable as you've seen. So um, it's on right now. So let's go ahead and take this to the truck. Get the keys. So, Alright guys, so super simple to plug their scanner in. You just take your plug, you come under the driver's side, most cars is going to be on the driver's side. Take your plug, you see the, the port right here, looks something like this. Then you just plug it in, just like that. All right guys, so if you come under the driver's side, if you can see the OT sensor is right there. So pretty much you're just gonna go and take your 22 millimeter open end and just unscrew it, unplug the plug, and then you go ahead and insert the new one, tighten it down and it's good. And then I just, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but what I did was I unplugged the plug and I stuck it through the 22 millimeter. And then um, I just ran it all the way through and onto the sensor itself. That way, you know, it won't round out or anything. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. And then um, pretty much it's on there good. So I just hit it, lift it up, reposition it, loosen it. And I'm gonna keep doing that until it comes out. Um, and then installation is pretty much self-explanatory.
self-explanatory. So once you crack, once you crack it, it should be able to just come right out. <clears throat> just like that. So Denso actually gives a little bit of anti-seize. Um, so pretty much all you do is you put a little bit over the threads. Shoot, I didn't open it big enough. Just like that. I'm gonna take my finger, just rub it in. Just like that. And then you go ahead and just screw this in. So again, just sift it up, stick it in the hole. And tighten it. All right, guys. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a new sensor installed. It runs up there, and it's plugged in right there. This is the bad sensor right here. So now we're just gonna go ahead and start the car and clear the cold, and hopefully it won't come back on anymore. All right, guys. So I have the scanner hooked up now. Um, I just installed the sensor, the O2 sensor, so now we're going to go ahead and clear the code. engine light should turn off and it's gone 